Now let's talk about another really cool feature, uh, and that's Stager, where you can find that is underneath Geometry, Stager. You're going to see three new buttons, Home Stage, Target Stage, and Switch Stage. What these are is, uh, this is kind of our home stage, and well, what does that mean? Well, if I go into solo mode and turn on my floor, you're going to see this object in space is perfectly across that x-axis. There's the middle line of my world, and then if we turn on x for x symmetry, and in fact, if you want to see this, let's go into transform menu and grab that little white dot, we'll drag it over here onto the side. You're going to see when I tap x, that's going to activate symmetry, and by default, symmetry is on in the x-axis. So if I go in here, like say with my move brush with X symmetry turned on, I can move and sculpt uh, cross symmetry there. Uh, another cool thing you can do is you're gonna see this green line, that's our Y axis, so Y is up in ZBrush. So we can go over here, we can say, let's turn off our X symmetry, let's turn on Y symmetry. So now we're, you know, up and down, but however, it's not really up and down on our object. Uh, our object's kind of, it's not in the middle of world space. How to fix that is just turn on L sim. That's local symmetry for our object. So now we're symmetrical in the Y axis. And you can have multiple if you want to turn on X uh, and Y axis, you can be symmetrical, symmetrical there. And in fact, X, Y, and Z. So you can have multiple axes of symmetry at the same time. Um, even better, you can go in here to the Y axis. You can turn on radial symmetry, which is our R button here. And there's your radial, radial count. So right now it's set to eight. So now you can use radial symmetry on your object. However, let's turn off our floor, let's turn off solo. Let's say I want to work on this object with radial symmetry because it's it'll be really useful for me. However, where I really want this ring is back behind this eye, and I kind of want the best of both worlds. So that's where home stage and target stage come into play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap X on my keyboard to act uh, dis deactivate symmetry temporarily. I'm gonna hit W on my keyboard, and uh, we're gonna move this into place. Before I do that, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna click this as my home stage. So that's gonna set this position as my home stage, and then we're gonna just move this into place here, and essentially, Again, we're just gonna kinda put this right behind the eyeball here, and this is where I want the end result of this object to be, and this is gonna be our target stage. So again, we're gonna rotate this into place, move it into place here, there we go. So now we have a uh, object set to our target stage. And you know, let's just move this back a little bit. There we go. So now, let's go ahead and set this as our target stage just by clicking this button here. So now what I can do is I can click switch stage and that's going to put it back here in the middle and then put it back here uh, where it's supposed to be. Now, instead of constantly having to go over here and click this button, what I can do is then I can assign a, a hotkey to this. Uh, how you assign a hotkey to almost anything in ZBrush uh, is to hold down control alt, click the button and in the upper left hand corner is going to say press any key combination. So I'm just going to set this to control alt two and that'll be our hotkey for switch stage. So now all I gotta do is hit Control alt 2 and it'll swap between uh, home stage and target stage and vice versa. So while I'm working in this, I can do like BZM for a Z modeler brush. Let's turn on polyframe. Let's grab sketch shaded or skin shader four so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, and then, you know, I can put a bevel along the back. So I'll just, um, oops, hover over an edge, bevel, edge loop complete. We'll go ahead and bevel this in a little bit. And again, if I want to see the result of that in context or where it should be, again, control alt two or switch stage, and that'll go ahead and put that right back in here. Now, even cooler is, well, while I'm in context, I need to go ahead and make sure that this is, you know, the bevel on the front is going to be what I want it to be. Uh, I can just start modeling. So again, Z modeler brush, BZM, hover over an edge, bevel edge loop complete. And we'll just go through here and be like, okay, actually, yeah, this this is the bevel that I want. Uh, or, or if that's too much, you know, let's let's do a, a little bevel. There we go. That looks right uh, in this context. And then again, if I want to send it back to my home stage, uh, Control Alt Two, uh, or click the state switch stage button, and then I'm back where I started. And the cool thing about this is it works with anything, uh, any any geometry you want. So if I go up here and I say, you know what, let's turn on dynamic subdivision. Uh, let's open up crease. We'll say crease PG to go ahead and crease our polygroups here. Uh, we'll turn on dynamic so it'll give us a nice smooth look. And if we turn off polyframe, you'll see that's the result. Uh, Shift D to turn that off, D to turn that back on. So I can toggle between those two states and control alt two, send it back. Dynamic works. Um, control alt two, send it back here. In fact, if I hit dynamic apply, that will apply those subdivisions. So now I have real subdivisions here. Again, works just fine. Control alt two, control alt two. Works with subdivision levels. Uh, it works with Dynamesh. So if I go in here and say, you know what, let's crank up that Dynamesh resolution here and hit Dynamesh. So now we have a Dynamesh sitting here. And then again, Control Alt 2. Uh, you can go through here while it's over here. You can say, you know what, I'm going to sculpt on this here and then Control Alt 2 to send it back. And it just sends the position back. 
So let's go ahead and undo that. And you know, while we have a Dynamesh, that's totally fine. We can go through here and again, X to turn on symmetry. We have radial symmetry in the Y direction. Uh, radial count of eight is fine. So we can go through here and we can start sculpting on our mesh. Um, let's go to standard brush. We'll switch this to drag rect. We'll grab an alpha 06 and um, what I used to do was go in here, so here's my Z intensity, and I drag this down. It's like, oh, it's not intense enough, and I need to take the focus shift down to negative 100 so I get the full effect of that alpha. And it's like, oh, no. First of all, I, I pulled it out, and then, oh, yeah, I didn't want it to go out. I actually wanted to hold down Alt and push it in, and I have to keep going back and forth and like tweak this intensity you know, little by little. Uh, no more of doing that. So this is... Um, not directly related to stager, but still super useful uh, in 2021.7 is if I drag something out and I'm like, oh, you know what? I wish I'd hold the hell down alt so I'd push in. No problem. Come up here to adjust last, take this, pull this in, or you can pull it out further, or you can pull it in further. So you can immediately adjust uh, a last on here. So let's say on this one, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's pull this out. And again, if we want to see the result, control alt two to send it over, control alt two to send it back. And in fact, I can go through here and I want to say hold down uh, Alt to maybe put, or I, I, you know, I pull out a, a ring in here and I'm like, oh, I wish I'd pushed it in. No problem. Adjust Lash, adjust Last, go ahead and push it in. And, you know, let's push it in a pretty healthy amount. Uh, and again, send it over, send it back. In fact, you may be thinking like, well, what if I want to like mask an area? Will I be able to send that over? Is it going to keep verts here? Absolutely. You can send it over with the mask, send it over with the mask. You can adjust the mask over here. Now, while I'm over here, again, you're going to want to turn off X symmetry so you can adjust the mask while it's in the target stage and then control alt 2 to send this back over. Uh, you can also uh, put on insert mesh brushes. So B, I, brush insert. We'll go in here uh, to industrial parts and now we have our IMM brushes and then I can just click and drag and we'll insert this. Of course, let's turn on X symmetry again. So we got our radial symmetry here and you're going to notice Oops, I didn't. I wanted to put a screw in here. Well, if I hit W, uh, this is a new feature in 2021.7 as well, left and right arrow will cycle through the different IMM brushes. So now instead of uh, a bolt here, we can go through here and say, you know what? I wanted a, uh, a screw, perfect. So now I've got screws in there. And again, I can send that over and I can see it in context. Yeah, it looks about right. And I can push it back. Now, when I'm working like this, where it's like, okay, I've got one mesh here, but I've also got uh, these screws here that I kind of want to have them separate because, you know, the this is Dynamesh and I want to, you know, sculpt on this, but these are hard surface and I want to apply, you know, a dynamic smooth subdiv to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Control Shift, click uh, the screw, Control Shift A to visibility grow all. And then over here underneath Subtool, we're going to go ahead and say Split hidden. So now we have, if I alt tap, we can alt tap the, um, the disc, we can alt tap the screw here. They're separate sub tools now. And because I had it originally set up, it inherited all the original sub tool properties uh, of the original disc mesh. So if I go down here, uh, home stage and target stage is still set up. So I can do control alt two, send that over, alt tap the disc, control alt two, and send that over, which is cool. But what if I'm like, well, I kind of want to send them both back over at the same time. No problem. All you got to do is go over here to Subtool, and you're going to see there is an all to home and all to target. So now I can just say all to target is going to send everything back to its target position. All to home will send everything back to its home position. And just to kind of demonstrate Stager in another way, in a way that you can follow along, I'm going to hit the comma key, go into Project, Demo Projects. We're going to load up Earthquake. And this is a character that was symmetrical and then it was posed later and it's got a lot of different subtools now so if you wanted to work on a subtool like say a shirt if it's easier to work on a shirt in another area of space again you can just go in here to geometry stager you can set the current position at its target stage hit w move everything over set that as its home stage again switch stage we're going to hold down control alt i'll set that control alt 2 so i can just very quickly switch between home and target. So again, if it's easier just to kind of pop this out to the side, go through here, let's go to BPA, hit C to sample this color, maybe throw in a kind of a rough alpha, maybe drop that RGB intensity down and we'll go ahead and make it a little less saturated here. So if I want to go through here and like scrape in a little bit of wear underneath here where it may be a little more difficult to access while it's on the model, you can just very quickly kind of pop it out from the model and go through here, make your changes, 
switch stage and put it back. As well as remember, you can also change the size. So if I go in here and I alt tap the wraps here, let's say I hit uh, W, let's go ahead and again, set that to our target stage. I'm gonna go to Unmash Mesh Center, just that little hitting W and then clicking that little teardrop icon. I can go through here, I can you know rotate this around, I can put it towards the camera if I want to, I can scale it up, make it a little bit easier to work on. I can set this as my home stage. And again, if I do a BPA, go through here and swap that alpha out. And I wanna go through here like we're gonna do um, and some other demos, we're gonna maybe put a little smiley face on here. So we'll do yellow, black here. And also, you know, while I go through and let's say I wanted to, you know, poly paint on the hand, I can use stager to get things out of the way. So again, control alt two to kind of put it back and forth. And again, if it's easier to work on larger or again, a different position, and then you can, you know, swing it back over and put it on the hand. Super easy to do, and it gets it out of the way of the hand. So now that it's out of the way of the hand, I can alt tap back on the body. One more time, go through here. And let's go ahead and crank our RGB intensity up to 100. Go back through here, we'll put another smiley face on the hand real quick. And this isn't, I don't know what order these are gonna be in, but uh, this is another thing you can end up doing. So we have this uh, as stager over here to the left out of the way, I've poly painted on and I moved it out of the way. Now I can go in here to the hand, I can go down here to masking, I can say mass change points, but I'm gonna go back in history and I'm gonna store all the way back to where I just first started painting on the hand, all the way back through, I'm gonna say mass change points, open circle so it, change, it grabs all the change points fully. I'm gonna say masking flip by opposable symmetry so it's gonna mask this area inside of the fist now. So it was masked in the other hand, and now because it's this is all posable symmetry, it's on the other hand now. Control tap to invert that, go down here to poly paint. We'll say mirror by posable symmetry, and it's gonna put that smiley face over here in the hand. All while stager had this out of the way. Now I can alt tap back on here, say control alt two, put that back. And now I've got the poly painted hand, stager had this out of the way. I've used stager to again, put this in two different locations so I can very quickly and easily get to it and maybe make it a little easier to paint on. Uh, same thing with the clothing, I'll tap the clothing, move it over out of the way, do what I need to to it. And then uh, just use my hotkey for stager, switch stage to put it back where it's supposed to go.